All right, Shalom. Shalom. All right, first and foremost, we're going to give all praises, all honors, and all glories unto Yahweh. Yahweh. Uh, double honor to so our elders and our apostles, the very middle, so they do indeed were well. Peace, blessings, and salutations be unto the elect, the elect elected one third. I'm the brother Dewada. The what? I'm the brother Nabala. Kind of today, we're going to do a video on what's going on over there in DC. You know, as you can see, you got Satan rising up against Satan, you know, Esau versus right. Esau. You know, they're speaking about, you know, taking over, they don't want Trump to leave office. They don't want Biden to get up in there, you know. And uh, there was just an article that just popped up on my phone a couple minutes ago. And it says, female Trump supporters shot inside the Capitol has died. So, <laughs> hey, the the uh, uh, wars, the rumors of war, that's brewing up. The market of beasts is brewing up. And also civil unrest, which is prophesied within the Holy Scriptures. Everything that you see going on now can all be found within this book. All right. So, uh, brother, if you want to start off with that scripture. God, this is Isaiah 19 and verse 2. And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians, and they shall fight everyone against his brother and everyone against his neighbor, city against city and kingdom against kingdom. And what that scripture is talking about is basically how you got these Edomites are basically are in turn against each other. They're going to start fighting against themselves. And they're not going to regard for their neighbor. They're not going to regard for for their for their brother. You know their own people. They're not going to regard for the princes who are the people who are in power, as far as the, the governors, the mayors, the senate. They're not going to listen to those rules no more. And they're just all held by the break loose. And we can see that today. What happened in D.C.? You know they they got all the way up in the Capitol. Uh, they got all the way up to the Senate seat. They found uh Pelo Pelosky, Pelosky, however you say her name, Salaki, if I just said it wrong. They found her office and they just was just having just having fun in there. You know, had their feet all up on desk, you know, was just not regarding none of their none of their rules whatsoever. So that's what that scripture is pertaining to how you know it's gonna be a lot of these Edomites turn against each other and fight against each other. Okay. And uh yeah just to back you up on that I got a got a script you know, uh, it was another guy sitting in, the, uh, I think it was the senator, um, I forget the senator's name, but it, it was people in there sitting in the senator's chairs and seats, you know, not regarding anything. This is the book of Second Edris, chapter 15, and verse, I'm going to start at verse 15. It says, I'm going to start at 14. It says, woe to the world and them that dwell therein. Woe meaning destruction. Okay, this is the most high moving everything, moving all the pieces, having the prophecies come to pass. And 2021 is going to be lit. Okay, this is the uh, verse 15. It says, for swords in their hand and for the sword and their destruction draweth nigh. So this is a sign down there. The people protesting, angry about Trump not getting in there. Okay, this is a, this is about Trump. Uh, this is actually this is not about Trump. Actually, okay, people just mad. They mad at everything about what's going on in this country. Okay, they pissed about their jobs. They pissed about uh, 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 Maxine and all of these crazy things and this, these masks that they want people to wear. They pissed about everything. Okay, they down there riding, throwing uh, 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 equipment in power. Hey, okay, people are angry. It says, and says, and one people shall stand up and fight against another with swords in their hands. And people down there angry. Okay, they they're ready to go off on everybody and everything. And part of this is that they're not going to be regarding their kings nor their princes. This is this is uh verse 16. It says, For for there shall be sedition among men invading one another, and they shall not regard their kings nor their princes, meaning their senators, uh their, their uh congress people, the governors, their mayors. It says the course of their actions shall stand in their power, meaning they're not gonna be listening to any uh, uh authority, okay? Say, saying, you know, calm down, do this and do that. These people are going to be mad 
and they're not going to be listened to in any authority. Go ahead, I. Con. <clears throat> yeah, which they're already pissed off. Now, when you go into the sedition, it means for one to rebel against the government. And right uh -huh. now, that's exactly what you're seeing. Rebellion right. against the government, even to the point where a couple months ago, they wanted to kidnap the governor of Michigan, uh, Gretchen Whitmer. You know, they wanted that's to right. kidnap her and all that. It was all over the news. Now, mm -hmm. what other time period has something like that happened where someone is trying to kidnap a governor? And all of a sudden, they're busting to the Senate House and, you know, saying, oh, we want a, a, a secession. They're talking about there's talks of secession now. So basically, Esau, the most high, how about Shemir al Shia said in Esau against Esau. This is the book of Mark, chapter 3, and verse 24. That's started verse 23. And he called them unto him and said unto them in parables, How can Satan cast out Satan? If a kingdom be divided against itself, just like America, America is a kingdom divided against itself, right? For example, you got the Republicans, you got the Democrats, two opposing parties, right? Right. So you got the people that support Trump. You got the people that don't support Trump, and they're part of a, a Biden's crew, and they're clashing heads. Every time you turn on the news, it's, oh, Biden says this, Trump says this, left wing, right wing. That's a kingdom divided. Uh -huh. And if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. So America is not going to stand. And if a house, that's America, be divided against itself, that house, that house cannot stand. So America's headed towards destruction, all right? America's headed towards destruction. The people in this land are not unified. They call it the United States of America. There's never been a time such as this where everyone has been so divided, one against another, all right? And you can't even go to a store, <clears throat> you know, and, you know, clear your throat up without anyone looking at you. Oh, does he have that Rona? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So we're living in those times. The Lord said in the book of Matthew 24 that uh, um, the love of many shall wax cold. And you see that even, even now. Oh, sure. get away from your social distance. Back up. Oh, uh, put your mask on your nose. Uh, so on and so forth. So that kind of brotherly love, that kind of uh, um, get along with this person just because, let me try to be friendly. All that stuff is getting broken apart now as we get closer and closer to the end. That's right. God. Yeah. I got a script to back you up. Okay. You're right, Doc. And you know, this is just all leading up to the end. You know, our Lord, Yahweh, Bashim Yahshua, he's been to make his grand entrance. Okay. okay. And this is just the beginning. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 19 and verse 2. And it says, I will set Egyptians against the Egyptians, meaning he's going to set the, the Edom, Edom against Edom. Okay. Nation against nation. And that's what's going on right now. He just broke it down how some people is for uh, uh, the Republicans and some people is for the Democrats. Some people is for none of it. It says, and they shall fight everyone against his brother and everyone against his neighbor, city against city and kingdom against kingdom. So it's, it's about to go down. You already see brother against brother, Egyptian against Egyptian, Edom against Edom. You're going to have Jake against Jake. You're going to have the kingdoms against the kingdoms. Just like the scriptures say, it's all coming to pass. It says, verse 3, And the spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst thereof, and I will destroy the council thereof. The council, that he's going to destroy the people who are ruling. He's going to destroy their council. It says, And they shall seek to their idols and to charmers and to them that have familiar spirits and to the wizards. You know these these Edomites, they come to the, they go to their uh their wizards and their charmers, uh, and their witchcraft. It's not going to be able to save them or deliver them from the destruction that Yahweh Shimei Ashai is bringing on this place. Uh, go ahead, Ot. Khan, did you have something to bother? Uh, no, not yet. Khan, uh, I had a scripture here. This is book uh, of Isaiah chapter thirteen and verse fourteen. And it shall be as the chase row that it is dealing with Esau during these race wars. It shall be as the chase row and as a sheep that no man taketh up. So Esau is going to be scared as hell within these race wars. It ain't like he's going to be doing good and, oh, you can't do anything. I'm an Edomite. No, people will be busting back at him. You know, just right. like the movie uh, uh, The Last Purge or The First Purge, I think it was called. You know, they showed you race wars. They showed you Esau versus Jake. That's what's coming. And it shall be 
as the chaste robe and as a sheet that no man taketh up. They shall every man turn to his own people. Right. And it says, and flee every one into his own land. What you see that going on now? People are leaving America. They see that this place is crumbling. America ain't what it used to be. So they're saying, hey, I could be here and catch all this hell, or I could go back to my land and do decently. Exactly. Because America's crumbling. It says, every one that is found shall be thrust through. So every Edomite found in that day, they're going to be thrust through, meaning killed. It ain't going to be the best time to be an Edomite, all right? Especially when Jake, if someone can hold um, Genesis 49, and we're going to start at verse 9, the Most High is going to rouse up the spirit in Jake to come up against you Edomites. Mm -hmm. These two thirds out here, these bird brain Negroes that shoot with the pants down and the gun sideways, Lord's going to raise them up to come against Esau. You know, if someone else can queue up, um, you know, I'm going to grab it. If whoever has, has that Genesis, Baba Kusha, bring that one out. You said 49 and 9. 49 and I think start of verse 8. Let's see what that says. God. This is Genesis 49 and 8. It says, Judah, thou art he whom thy brethren shall praise. Kai, so Judah, Judah is the head tribe of the nation of Israel. Mm -hmm. Judah, thou art he whom thy brethren shall praise. Judah is the head tribe. Keep going. And it says, thy hand shall be in the neck of thine enemies. Yeah, so that's a strangle position. Judah, thou art he whom thy brethren shall praise. Thy hand shall be upon the necks of thine enemies. Who are enemies? Esau and the other nations. Go ahead. It says, thy father's children shall bow down before thee. Yes, yeah, because you had the yeah, King David came out of Judah. You have Yahweh Shai came out of Judah. King Solomon, they were all Judites. Keep going. It said, Judah is a lion's whelp. From the prey, my son, thou art gone up. Yeah, so the prey is Esau. So Judah is a lion's whelp. A lion's whelp was a young lion. So here it is. You a young lion. If you know anything about nature and lions, young lions have the most energy. They have the most ferocity. They're not very skilled in hunting, but they will chase a deer even though they know they ain't going to catch it because they got that energy. So Judah, you a young lion. From the prey, my son, thou art gone up. So here it is. You see the prey before you, but here it is. You, you, oh, I'm trying to get along with you. So I'm trying to get, that's the prey. What are you, what are you doing? That's what the Lord is saying here. Keep going. He stood, he stood. He stooped down, mm -hmm. he couched as a lion, and as an old lion, who shall rouse him up? Yeah, so now when you check out an old lion, the old lion don't got the same fight that it once had. Mm -hmm. The old lion just wanted to chill all day, yawning, sleeping. That's Jake at this point. So the question is, who shall rouse him up? Yeah, how about Shem Yahweh is going to rouse Jacob uh -huh. to come up against Esau? He's the one that's going to put the spirit on Jake to come and fight against Esau. Like when you see these Jakes getting shot in the street. And Jake out there protesting. Soon it ain't going to be just protesting. Soon they're going to protest with their weapons. Mm -hmm. Isaiah chapter 13 and verse 15. Everyone that is found shall be thrust through. So every Edomite found at that time is going to get shot down. And everyone that is joined onto them shall fall by the sword. So you got Jake that, oh, I want to defend Esau. Jake going to get you and Esau. All right? You coons out there. Verse 16. Their children shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes. Their houses shall be spoiled, 2nd Ezra 15, and their wives ravished, meaning raped. So it's going to be a terrible time when these race wars kick off. Uh -huh. Right? Your brother's got it. Did you have something to walk? Look like he's lagging a little bit. All right. So I'm going to grab something else in the book of Isaiah. Because Yahweh Ba Shimi Osha is raising this whole thing up. He's the one that's causing all of this. Ah. Right? Let's see. And uh Nabala, if you can go ahead and grab uh second Ezra 15 again. So under verse uh 15. Okay. Okay, we're gonna go through that again because that's important. It is right now we're living in a time when Yahweh Ba Shimi Osha is going to make his move, and right now we're seeing that by way of these prophecies unfolding, all right. Okay. Let's see. How far did he go down in uh into second edges 15? Did he read 18 yet? Nope. Uh just go ahead and grab it again. Okay. This is uh second edges 15, and then this is uh I'm gonna start at 17. 
and says a man should desire to go into a city and shall not be able. And mm. that's and that's uh, going along with what's happening right now in DC. Now they got the National Guard about to come in, so they're gonna shut down. Uh, first, they're gonna shut down the capital. Then, as when they start that, they're gonna start pushing out and start shutting down city to city. So people are not gonna be able to move and go where they think they're gonna be able to go. Huh. In verse eighteen, it says, "For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the house shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid." Mm -mm. So what that pertaining to is, as I, as I just read, and then we are going to cities and because of their pride, because of these, you know, these people that empower pride, you know, they're going to be afraid because these are times that they've never seen before. Like we That's all right. said, the most high is stirring up that pot and is, and is brewing and it's almost about that time for, uh, for him to start rendering vengeance, rendering vengeance to the enemies, to our enemies. Verse 19, he said, man shall have no pity, no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. Mm, yeah. So, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. So that's basically, they're not going to have no pity against their neighbor. Like how they, what they're doing in the capital right now, that's just a tip of the iceberg, how they just run into the capital. It's going to get to the point where they're going to start going to their neighbor's houses, you know, their neighbor, people in the fellow neighborhood, you know, running in there, you know, taking their goods, you know, slaying them, you know, and, and it really gets bad when there's no food. They may even start eating people. Hey, uh, it, it was a, it, it's a Jake woman down there. Jake uh, MB, she's down there yelling at the Edomites, telling them, you know, we should not leave. We should stay. You know, she was saying, why should we leave? He was like, we should go because Trump said we should leave. She said, no. So you got Jake uh, 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 protesting and, and, and going off down there uh, with Esau like like we like Jake is a part of that. You know, this is a this is the book of Proverbs, chapter 11 and verse 21. It says it says, though, though hand join in hand, the wicked should not be unpunished. But the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. So Jake down there protesting, thinking you a part of something, but this is not your rest. Okay, this place is polluted. Okay, Yahweh Hashem Shai is coming to deliver his elect, the elect of Israel, and he he don't care about this place. He's he to destroy this place. This is a wicked, wicked kingdom. Okay, go ahead. I, God, I got a scripture yeah. here, Zechariah yeah. nine and verse thirteen. I'll start at verse twelve. Turn ye. To the stronghold. The stronghold is this knowledge is truth. So this is a message right. to you Israelites out there. Turn back to this truth. All right. Turn ye to the stronghold, ye prisoners of hope. Even today do I declare that I will render double unto thee. When I have bet Judah for me, Judah, Judah is the head tribe, right? That's right. When I have bet Judah for me and filled the bow with Ephraim. That's the Lord joining back the northern and southern kingdom. Judah is the head tribe of the southern kingdom. Ephraim is the head tribe of the northern kingdom. And raise up thy sons, O Zion, that's the Israelites, against thy sons, O Greece, who are the Grecians, the Edomites. So there's going to be a race war. The Lord's going to raise up Esau versus Jake, the two main players, and made wow. me as the sword of a mighty man. So when that takes place, when, when there's uh, Jake versus Esau, this is going to take place here shortly thereafter. And the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai, shall be seen over them. That's those chariots, those ships. Huh. And his arrow shall go forth as the lightning. That's the lasers. And Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai, power shall blow the trumpet. That's Matthew 24. And shall go with the whirlwinds of the south. That's them chariots. So, so, so when we see these race wars pop off, Yahweh Shai is at the door. All right? That's, right? That's why the scriptures speak about measure thou the time diligently in itself. If someone want to grab a uh, second Ezra 9. And then we okay. can start at the top with that one. Okay. If you got any precepts, you can go ahead and pour them out. You got, you got precepts on what? Yeah, I got a quick one. Because okay. um, uh, like like you're saying, you know, these race wars, is going to pop off. And, you know, Jake, some Jake don't really understand what's going on. They're going to be confused. You know, they're going to take the chip. They're going to be down for this system, mm -hmm. but not realizing that the most high is bringing this place down. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 30, and verse 1. 
It says, Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord, Yahweh Shimei Shai, that take counsel, but not of me. Mm. So you got Jake go down there protesting. He think he's doing something uh, uh, great for himself, but really he's going against Yahweh Shimei Shai. Yahweh Shimei Shai is mm. not for this country. Okay, he's coming to destroy this place. It says that the covering with the, a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may sin, that they may add sin to sin. So Jake thinking he's supposed to be down with this system and its wickedness and following off of after the ways of Esau and his sin with what with more sin. It says, verse two, that walk down into Egypt, this Egypt meaning America, and have not acts at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. So they trust in, in these presidents, they trust in, in these governors. But like the scriptures say here, this place is about to be destroyed. Mm -hmm. Okay. It says, therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame and the trust in the shadow of Egypt, your confusion. So any Jakes out there, any Israel, so-called Israelites who who of the two third is going to be that that's down with this place is going to go down with the ship. Going to go down with this place. God. America is going down, and anybody join with them is going down with it. Go ahead, Ah. Con, if I might add, the scripture said that. Uh, could you read verse uh, two again? Yeah, it says uh, that walk and go down into Egypt, and has not asked for my mouth. Yeah, you ain't asked at the mouth of the Lord. The Lord's mouthpiece is the prophets. That's Here it right. is, you seeking the uh, defense and the help from America. We didn't even acquire the prophets first. Uh -huh. So and the Most High speaks through his men, through the prophets. So here is, you going around the Most High, and you going to go to Esau. You going around the authority of Yahweh Baal Shem Yahweh but not inquiring of the prophets first, but you want to go to Esau for help. Uh -huh. That's why it's going to lead to your downfall. The scripture says in Sirach the 13th chapter, never trust thine enemy. For like as I rust, but so is his wickedness. Mm -hmm. So here it is, you're going around the most high and you're trying to seek help from Esau, the sword of the most high. So what kind of sense does that make? Uh, I got a quick Great. one. Uh, second Ezra, it's like it, Ezekiel 2 and verse 1. And he said unto me, Son of man, stand upon thy feet, and I will speak unto thee. And the spirit entered into me when he spake unto me and set me upon my feet, and I heard him that spake unto me. And he said unto me, Son of man. I send thee to the children of Israel to a rebellious nation. Yeah, and that's our people. Now, when you break that, that break down that word rebellious, re meaning back, bellious, going back to the word bellium, meaning war. So when you're rebelling against Yahweh Baal Shem Shai, when you come against this truth, when you come against the prophets, you want to do your own thing, you're uh -huh. really making war against the Most High Heavenly Father. And the scripture says in Exodus 15 and 3, the Lord Yahweh is a man of war. So that ain't too smart for you, Jakes. Uh -huh. So when the Lord gives Esau the green light to start mowing you down, oh, I want to, oh, no, I want to help him. I'm, I'm voting for Biden. You, you, Jakes, think you're really doing something. Going on. And that's going to lead to your downfall because you trust within America. All right? Uh -huh. I got a script to back you up on that. Because uh, Jake and a lot of the world, they don't really understand who's running things. Mm -hmm. The book of Amos, chapter 3 and verse 6. It says, shall a trumpet be blown in a city and the people not be afraid? That's a spirit. Shall there be evil in a city and the Lord, Yahweh Shimei Shai, has not done it? Oh, okay. shoot. The Lord, you know, he's yeah. running this thing. He's bringing the evil. Yeah. He controls the good and the evil. That's right. Okay. And that's what people don't understand. They don't understand that the Most High is bringing this. What, do you, what are you doing down there protesting? What does mm. this got to do with you, Jake? Right. The Most High is bringing this evil, okay? Mm. And it's verse 7, it says, Surely the Lord power will do nothing, mm. but he revealeth his secret and to his servants the prophets. Like the Ak just said, he's speaking through the mouth of the prophets, okay? The prophets, we speaking out there telling you what's about to happen before it happens. Prophecy. Mm. And this is part of the prophecy that they will want to be down there Warn against each other, mm. nation against nation. That's right. People warn against the people. Mm. Go ahead, uh. Con, uh, could you read verse six again, real quick? Con, con. Wow. It says, "Shall a trumpet be blown in a city, and the people not be afraid?" Yeah, like what the 
hell's wrong with you, Jakes? The prophets right. are the ones blowing the trumpet. Blowing the trumpet is a metaphor right. for giving you the warning. All right? Yeah. Uh, can someone grab a Joel 3 and 1 real quick? Baba Kusha? The prophets are the ones out here blowing the trumpet. But here it is. You don't want to listen to the prophets. So then now when Esau comes in like a flood, oh, damn, why is this happening to me? We didn't believe it telling y'all for years. See, Jake is hard-headed. Jake, mm -hmm. do, Jake don't want to get right. He, oh, damn, damn, I got to put down a blunt. Damn, man, no. That's going to lead to your destruction. Oh, you telling me I can't eat pork? Man, no, I ain't with that. Uh, they, like, they like them five versions, but I'm going to grab uh, Joel 3, and you said starting mm -hmm. verse 1. Okay. And this is Joel 3 and verse 1. For behold, in those days and in that time, when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. Get a, a Joel 3. Is that 3 and 1? Yeah, yeah, that was 3 right. and 1. Go to Joel 2 and 1. So lock it. Oh, God, you good. Mm -hmm. Okay, God, I see it. God. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion. That's what we're and doing. Sound an alarm in my holy mountain. God, same thing. Right. Giving Jake the warning. God. But Jake God. don't want to get right. right. Let all the inhabitants of the mm. land tremble, for mm. the day of the Lord cometh, for it is nigh at hand. Right. And the elder also to her coined this year, the year of hasting unto the coming of the day of Yahweh Ba Shimia Washai. Right. So it says that you should be trembling. Because the day of Yahweh Ba Shimei Awashah is nigh, meaning close. It is nigh at hand. It's close. So really, you should right. be in the spirit of trembling, the spirit of fear. As is written, serve the Lord with fear and trembling. But Jake don't want to fear. They don't fear the Most Heavenly Father. So the Most High, Yahweh Ba Shimei Awashah, is going to teach you. You know how Jake say, I can show you better than I can tell you? How much more right. from the Most High? He's going to show you why he is to be feared. All right? Uh, uh, quick trip to back you up on that, I. Okay. Because uh, Jake is is thinking that they can just just do what they want to do. Uh, they think that they're gonna be able to call for the Lord when they in their time of distress. Mm. If you do not know the names of Yahweh Bashemi Al Shai, and you're not calling on the names, and you haven't been uh, studying in this truth, you're gonna be left out there. The Most mm -hmm. High is not gonna hear you. It says the Book of Ecclesiastes, chapter five and verse seven. It says, make no tarrying to turn to the Lord, Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, meaning don't wait, don't, don't slack around, don't put it off, and put not off from day to day, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord, Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. So like the ox said, the signs, one of the, one of the signs is the people down there in D.C. rioting and protesting. That's a sign that you need to move towards the Lord, Yahweh Hashem Yahashai. Mm. Okay, because after uh, those prophecies that's happening now are come to pass, destruction is going to be on you. Ah. Okay, and you're going to be calling. Okay, people are going to be breaking in people's houses. People are going to be trying to steal people's foods, rioting, attacking people. And you're going to be calling for the Lord, and you ain't going to know what was, what's going on because you haven't been uh, studying in this truth. Right. Okay, and when you call on <laughs> when you call on those other gods, he's not going to hear you. Mm -hmm. He's only going to listen to the people who believe in him and his son, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Go ahead, Ah. And I got a priest up the back here with that. That's right. This is Zechariah 7, and I'm going to start at verse 11. Mm -hmm. But they refused to hearken and pulled away the shoulder and stopped their ears that they should not hear. Mm. Yeah, they made their hearts as, a, as an adamant stone, lest they should hear the law and the words which the Lord of hosts has sent in his spirit by the former prophets. Therefore mm. came a great wrath from the Lord of hosts. Verse 13 is the point. Therefore, it has come to pass that as he cried and they would not hear, so they cried, and I would not hear, saith the Lord of hosts. So that's laying back what you were talking about, how when that day come, when, when all hell really start breaking loose, and they're going to you know, try to call on his name, you know, he's not going to hearken until they cry. Because when, like you said, we was out here, you know, doing our, doing our will, we're not doing our will, doing his will, you know, doing our role in this truth, is spreading the word, doing the whole duty of man, you know, praying his commandments and push this truth out here. They weren't trying to listen to us. So when all evil comes upon them and he started really plaguing, plaguing these, plaguing our Jake, you know, us 
as he can, as he will, you know, it's gonna be, there ain't gonna be no hope for him. No hope, right? God, out of spirit to back yeah. you up. Uh, Nabal, did you have another precept? Uh, kind, but you can go ahead. No, go ahead and grab it. Uh, and I'm just gonna bring out Matthew 25 because this is how people are gonna be act. They're gonna act like the, uh, those virgins who were not wise. Mm. And it says, then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto the ten virgins which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. And five of them were wise and five were foolish. That they were foolish. Con, and if I might add, the bridegroom was Yahweh Shai. So the five were wise, those are the five that are of the elect. The five that were foolish, here it is, those are the ones that know that there is a light, but they ain't got the 100% truth. They ain't got the answers. If you were to ask them, what's second there's 11 talking about? Oh, I don't know. What's the mark of the beast? Oh, I don't know. They're not deep in the scriptures. The most I really ain't dealing with them. So those five foolish versions are the ones that are not of the elect. And they know that the Israelites. Go ahead. It says that they were foolish, took their lamps, and took no oil with them. Mm -hmm. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. Mm -hmm. While the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. And at midnight, there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom cometh. Go yeah, that's the prophets. Con. And at midnight, a cry was made. That's the prophets. All right, go ahead. Go ye out to meet him. Mm -hmm. Then all those virgins arose and, and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us of your oil, for our lamps are gone out. Yeah, oil is a metaphor for this knowledge, this truth. It says in the book of Proverbs, there's a, a, a treasure and an oil to desire within the dwelling of the wise. But a foolish man spendeth it up. That oil and that treasure is this knowledge. So they're going to be asking the true men of the Lord for answers in that time. Mm -hmm. Give me the breakdown of this. Uh, give me the breakdown of that. Seeking answers. Mm -hmm. All right? And what's what are the that, men of the Lord? What's this? that name again? You, what yeah. was you saying? Mm -hmm. All right. Too late. Come All right. on. Verse 9. But the wise answer saying, not so, lest there be not enough for us and you. But go ye rather to them that sell and buy for yourselves. Yeah, in other words, figure it out on your own. Right. <laughs> figure it out on your own. Keep going. And this, this is the point right here. And uh -huh. while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and that they were ready, went went in with him to the marriage, and the door was shut. God. Yeah, and the door going to be shut on you. You false teachers right. out there. Like, commanding General Johanna telling you to take the microchip. God. Saying that John right. the Baptist ain't a man of the Lord. You think the most is dealing with them? The most are not dealing with them. All right. Hey, and uh, let me get this script because uh, you know, those are the first ones that's gonna get the judgment according to the scriptures. This is the book of first Peter, chapter 4, and verse 17. It says, For the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of the most high. Right. And if it first begin at us. What shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of the Most High? So you how about Shimei Asha? He's gonna bring judgment first to his own people. Uh -huh. These two third Jakes uh, preaching out here and teaching the word wrong, teaching our people that they should take the uh, the max and 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 and, and, and uh, 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 teaching them lies about what the mark of the beast is. The mark of the beast is the RFID chip. That's right. Okay, and that's the truth. And if you're not teaching the truth. You're going to be the first one judged because he's going to start with the house of Israel. God. God. Let me read this second verse here. And it says, uh, verse 18, and if the righteous be scarcely saved, where should the ungodly and the sinner appear? So what do you think will happen to you if you living in sin? And if you're teaching the people to go astray? And if you have not returned to the Lord, you have Because the righteous, the righteous will be scarcely saved. Okay, it's not going to be a cakewalk for nobody. So you have to be out here teaching the truth to our people. Okay, because how about Shimei Ashai? He's going to be really angry at the ones that's teaching lies in his name, or not teaching in his name at all because they're teaching a, a false a, a god to our people. He's going to start with you. Ah. Go ahead. Uh. Uh, well, I got some. This is uh, let's see, this is the book of Jude, chapter one, and verse 
before. But there are certain men crept in unawares. That's these false teachers, these false prophets, your yeah. false leaders who were before of old ordained to this condemnation. I mean, the most I set them up. There's a scripture that says, if a prophet be deceived, then I, the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shad, deceived that prophet. It says in the book of Job, both the deceived and the deceiver are his. I mean, the most size. So the most high is controlling both the one that's doing the deceiving, that's the false prophet, and the simple that believeth every word, that's those that follow him. Right? right. So the most high is controlling both, and the most high preordained that false leader to be set up. He's the one that preordained him to be set up. That's right. Ungodly men turning the grace of our power into lasciviousness and denying the only Lord power and our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Mahabdan verse 8. Likewise, also these, that's these reprobates, filthy dreamers, defile the flesh, despise dominion. Yeah, they, dominion, going back to the word domini, which is Lord. They despise those that have that lordship over them, which are mm -hmm. apostles and elders. They hate the leadership. And right. speak evil of dignity. Same thing. Speaking against the apostles and elders. Oh, uh, uh, I'm, I'm the true. I'm the leader. I'm the third in command. That's what General Yohanna said. Wait a minute. Yeah. You say you King David? What scripture is that? What scripture says we have to come up to get, uh, come up under uh, a command in General Johanna? That's not in the scriptures. You know, yeah. your brothers got it. Yeah. Yeah. Script, quick script to back you up on that. Huh? Okay, okay. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 5, and verse 26. It says, For among my people I found wicked men. That's right. You got leaders in these other camps teaching Israel. All these wicked lies, mm -hmm. telling them uh, 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 we should take the max. Are you kidding me? It's, the scriptures say, "Never trust thine enemy." It says they. It says they lay wait, and as he set up snares, they set up a trap. They catch men. So you got you got you got Akim and you got brothers out here following these false leaders, and like he said. Uh, uh, if the blind lead the blind, both will fall into a ditch. Okay, and the deceived, like you said, deceived and deceiver are his. It says, as a cage, uh, it says, as a cage is full of birds, so their houses are full of deceit. So their house is full of deceit because they are out here preaching lies. Okay, we know that the mark of the beast is not Christianity. We know that the mark of the beast is not an embargo. Okay, so called white women. We've heard all of this foolishness. The mark of the beast is the RFID chip. Okay, and if you take that mark, you're going to be destroyed. It says, therefore, they have become great and waxing rich. Okay, a lot of these leaders out here, they preaching in, and in the Christian church, they, they preaching and teaching the, uh, this false doctrine to lead the people astray. And it's also that they can get more money. It's all wicked, striving to bring more money to themselves. Okay, this place is going to be destroyed anyway. Why would you try to make your uh your your uh make your bed here anyway? The Most High is coming to destroy this place, so they're going to be destroyed along with all that money that they've been uh, uh evil uh that they've been getting by evil and deceit and lying. It says they are waxing fat; they shine. Yea, they overpass the deeds of the wicked. They judge not the cause and the cause of the fatherless, yet they prosper, and the right of the needy do they not judge. That's right. So they riding around here looking good. They got on their nice clothes. Mm -hmm. They riding in their nice cars. They got their nice homes. They thinking that they're going to be all right. They think they're going to be in good case. But the Most High, Yahweh Bashim Yashai, he's got something planned for them. Okay, he's coming to deal with them because he, he it says that wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth and his hurtful works are fulfilled. And so you got the people down there rioting, right? The people angry. That's all part of prophecy. The Most High is bringing this thing to an end. Go ahead. I Time to scripture here. First Peter 4 and 17. For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of the Most High. That's uh, those that know that they're Israelites. That's right. And if it first begin at us, meaning we don't know that we're Israelites, 
What shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of the Most High? That filters out to the rest of the two thirds. So if the Most High is going to judge those that know that they're Israelites first, mm -hmm. what the hell you think is going to happen to these two thirds out here? That's that right. that no clue that they're Israelites. Mm -hmm. And if the righteous, that's the elect, scarcely be saved, you have to say, by the hair of my chinny chin chin, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? That's the two thirds. So, hey, if the Lord, how about Shimei Osha, is going to scarcely save his elect, which he loves and actually cares about on this side? What do you think is going to happen to the two thirds out here? That's why the scriptures say, Seek ye thy creator in the days of thy youth. You should be trying your best to get right now. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Don, so there's going to be time right here, Go ahead, Doc. It's Isaiah 55 and 6. It says, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Come on, go ahead and break it down. Basically, why, like, why, why we still out here on the highways and byways? Why, why the truth is still being pushed on social media? You know, seek him while he still may be found, because, like the scripture says, uh, now is a high time to wake out of sleep because uh, our salvation is nearer than we know. Roughly paraphrasing. So you know, don't like, like the brother just brought up. Don't make no Terry to turn to the Lord. That's right. Uh, yeah. I had another scripture here. Um, let's see. Hosea chapter 5 and verse 15. I will go and return to my place to the acknowledge their offense. Two thirds of the nation of Israel don't want to acknowledge their offense. Mm -hmm. All right. The most high is pissed off against them. Here it is you trying to uh, protest with Esau to help maintain Esau's kingdom. Mm -hmm. And the most I told you beforehand that there's a kingdom for you. That's that shows right. that Jacob bugged out of their minds. Huh. So they acknowledge their offense. You don't want to acknowledge your offense and seek my face. All right. The prophets, the men of the Lord, the members of the elect, they have uh, sought the face of Yahweh Baal Shem Shai. We're trying to get on the Lord's good side. We pray and hope to be numbered amongst the men that the Lord will have mercy on. All right. It says, in their affliction, that's when the Lord puts hell on you, Jakes. They will seek me early. Yeah, but it's going to be too late. For the majority of the uh, uh, for the Israelites out here that refused to get right while the getting was good, all right. Your brothers got it. Yep. Uh, I got a quick scripture. Go ahead. Try. This is uh, Jeremiah five, and I'm starting verse seven. It says, "How shall I pardon thee for this? Thy children have forsaken me, and sworn by them that are no gods." When I have fed them to the full, they had they then committed adultery and assembled, assembled themselves by troops in the harlot's houses. Yeah, well, it's those harlot houses or churches. Could you, could you read that again? It says, how shall I pardon thee for this? Thy children have forsaken me and sworn by them that are no gods. When I have fed them to the full, they then committed adultery. And yeah, now that ain't talking about literal adultery, it means spiritual adultery. God. So here it is the most high. He's because the, the most uh, Jeremiah 6 and 2, the Lord has likened the daughter of Zion to a comely and delicate woman. Mm -hmm. We're the woman of Yahweh Ba Shimei Oshai. So the Lord is like, Hey, I took care of you. Just like if you have a girlfriend or you got a wife, you say, Hey, dang, I bought you some, some, you know, the, the some pumps. I got you this, this uh, Gucci belt. I got you this, got you that, the newest Jordans, this, that, and the third. Why the hell you step out on me? What I. I treated you good. You know what I mean? That's what the Lord is saying with us. All right. The Lord uh, hey, took care of us. All right. But you wanted to step out from the Lord. You wanted to go, in, go into Christianity, Islam, Buddhism, and all these other false philosophies that don't profit you. Keep going. And assembled themselves by the troops in the harlot's houses. Yeah, that's these churches. So here it is. Y'all gathering up to go to these churches. But you're not seeking Yahweh Baal Shem Yahweh Shai. You're seeking that white meat, Cesare Borgir. And that's why you see these Jakes out there right. over there in D.C. protesting because they see Esau as being their God. They want to defend their God, they want to uphold their God. They want his kingdom to continue to stand, right. whereas the Lord said that it ain't going to stand. So you're fighting against Yahweh Baal Shem Shai, which is a man of war. So what's he going to do when he comes back? He ain't going to have mercy on you. He's going to cut right. you down and give you the same judgment that Esau is getting, which is thermonuclear destruction. Time. Right. You got know, something to watch? Not yet. Go ahead. Go ahead and hop in. Yeah. 
see here. I was saying, go ahead. I, oh, okay, yeah, kind of no, yeah. uh, I had a quick one here. Second Peter chapter two, verse 12. Mm -hmm. But these, that's these two thirds as natural brute beasts, man, that man, if that, if there was a scripture that you could just describe two thirds out here, that's one of them right there. Uh, these as natural brute beasts. Now I was meditating on this early at the plantation. A beast, it, it doesn't have that the, those laws. A beast don't have laws, statutes, and commandments to follow. Yes. So the Lord likened the two thirds to be like unto beasts. You don't you don't have any order. The order that you were given is the laws, statutes, and commandments. You're not keeping them. So the Lord likened you onto beasts. You're unruly. You're undisciplined. That's why you're out there protesting. You're out there rioting. That's why you're out there looting. When anytime a, a cop shoots down the jake. That's why you're doing all those things. And that's why you're down there in D.C. with Esau protesting. But these as natural brute beasts made to be taken and destroyed. God. So the Most High set you up because you're made to be taken and destroyed. That's why it says in 2nd Exodus 9, let the multitude perish then which was born in vain. All right? Yeah. It says, speak evil of things that they understand not. Yeah, they come up against this truth. You don't even understand it, but you want to talk against it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't like it. Oh, oh you said uh, 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 you can have a woman as soon as she gets on her period. We're going to be doing that in the kingdom? No, I don't vibe with that. No. Oh, you telling me uh, uh, the mark of the beast is a chip? Well, I want to eat. I want to eat. Jay don't understand the truth, but they want to scoff against it. <laughs> and shall utterly perish in their own corruption. Mm -hmm. So, hey, the Lord, he has an out for the two-thirds. Your brother's got it. You got something, up, Nabala? Khan. Go ahead, Ot. Uh, this is second Edris in, uh, 9 and verse 9. Then shall they be in, be in a pitiful case, which now have abused my ways. And they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torment. For such as in their life have received benefits and not known me. And they that have loathed my law, while they had yet liberty, and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. The same must know it after death by pain. And that's just describing these two thirds. How, you know, they they basically abuse, they abuse their grace and mercy with the most high. They think, you know, they got all day, you know, they continue to, to willfully sin out here. And, you know, we're telling them to, you know, repent, turn from your ways, you know, get right, get in line. That's right. And they still out here, you know, just BSing around. And, you know, when right now, because the doors of mercy are closing very fast, right now, when, when repentance is still open up to them, they still out here want to party and, and BS and, and walk with Esau, eat them, and still, so like you, still yep. want to be a part of uh, these ways and, and the way of the heathen. So that's why they have to uh they have to go through they since they want to be part of the heathen, they gotta go through the same destruction as the heathen, which is that nuclear destruction. God. Hey, uh these two thirds out here, you know, Jake, he uh he looking at us, you know, we don't have these fancy suits, you know, we not eat, you know, we don't have we're not looking like we got all this money, so they're overlooking the prophets, the true prophets, the lowly, the, the men that the most high set up. And they're looking over us as if we're not preaching and teaching them the truth. This is the book of Romans chapter 3 and verse 3. It says, what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of the Most High would not affect? The prophecies are still going to come to pass. Okay, Whether you believe in the prophecies or you don't, the Most High's word does not come back void. It will accomplish it what he said. Okay, And he set up the prophets. To preach his word and truth and sincerity and the people that do not hearken, you're going to be punished. OK, you're going to perish along with the rest of the world that didn't follow uh, after the laws and statutes of the Yahweh al Shah. You think you can just stay in your evil and your wickedness and do as you want. OK, the Most High has a judgment for you. Mm -hmm. It says most verse four. It says the Most High forbid. Yea, let the most high be true, but every man a liar, as it is written, that the mightiest shall be justified in thy sayings, 
and the mightiest overcome when thou art judged. Okay, so we're going to overcome because we're preaching the truth. Okay, and the people out there preaching the lies, they're going to be destroyed. The Most High, the Most High is not backing them, and the Most High is not with lies and deceit. He's he's backing his men who are preaching and teaching the word according to the scriptures. Go ahead, Art. Time the scripture said that the Lord has chosen the poor of this world, rich and free. So hey, you Jakes are completely beside yourself because they see people like uh, Farrakhan, as we call them. They see people like uh, uh, Creflo Dollar, uh, Joel Osteen. Uh, help me out, Akim. What's the other ones? Uh, uh, TD Snakes. Yeah, TD Snakes. snakes. Uh, Creflo Dollar. <laughs> you know what's uh what's my man that look like Satan himself? What's his name? Oh man, I don't uh, know. Uh, no, what's I... his name? The real oh Kenneth Copeland. Yeah. Oh, yeah, all of them, the whole nine. They look at them as the if they're nine. the two leaders. But there's a scripture that says the leader of this, the leaders of this people cause them to err. They cause you to err. You jakes out here. You look up to them as being your leaders. You don't see the pop. Oh, they they some bums. Oh, they wear dresses. Oh no, I don't know. No, they bums. They ain't getting no money. Uh, uh this I got a scripture here, uh Matthew 11 and verse 7. <clears throat> and as they departed. Yahweh Shah began to say unto the multitudes concerning John, meaning concerning John the Baptist, what went he out into the wilderness to see? A reed shaken with the wind, meaning he wasn't a weak guy. And what went he out for to see? A man clothed in soft raiment? That don't apply to a, a, a John, a, a John the Baptist. He wore a rough garment. This is Matthew chapter 3 and verse 4. And the same John had his raiment of camel's hair, and a leathern girdle about his loins, and his meat was locusts and wild honey. So he had a rough garment on. All right. Yeah. Behold, they that wear soft clothing are in kings' houses. But what went ye out for to see? A prophet? Yea, I say unto you, and more than a prophet. So Yahweh is big enough, John the Baptist. And he wasn't decked out. He wasn't, you know, wearing the fancy purple garments, you know, with yeah. the, the trimming of gold. And no, he wasn't, he wasn't wearing all that. He just had a rough garment on, you know. Yeah. You brothers got it. Yeah. You brothers got it. Yeah. This God. is the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 1, and verse 27. It says, But the most high have chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. And the most high have chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty. So, hey, we standing out there, we preaching the word. Like, like the ox said, we, we looking lowly, we looking like we don't have anything, but we are filled with the words of Yahweh Bashem al mm -hmm. We have the true doctrine and understanding of the scriptures. The Most High has blessed us to understand it. It says, verse 28, and the base things of the world and the things which are despised have the Most High chosen, yea, and the things which are not to bring to naught the things that are. So we out there preaching the word, and as we preaching the word of the prophecy, the prophecies are happening. Mm -hmm. The prophecies are happening. Okay, sedition among men, uh, 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 people not, men not regarding their kings or princes. Mm -hmm. This is the prophecies, and they're happening right now. Uh -huh. All of the prophecies we are speaking, we are speaking uh, from the most high, He's given us the words, and these are the prophecies that, that are coming to pass. It said that no flesh, verse 29, that no flesh shall glory in his presence. So people thinking that they need to get their information from the high ones, okay? The people who run in things, the people who have uh, 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 positions in this country, whether they be pastors, ministers, leaders, governors, Senators, people look to them for the answers, but they don't have the answers. Okay, Yahweh Shimei Asha has set up the prophets to preach the word and to teach the truth. Okay, go ahead. Art. Kind of what's funny is they love heaping onto themselves titles. Well, I'm a minister. Yeah, yeah. ministers, Farrakhan. The word minister means servant. Okay. A minister is someone who serves someone else. Mm -hmm. So, what kind of title is that? Oh, I'm a minister. They think that's the lofty position. Oh, yeah, I'm a minister. Uh, 
There's just, there's just someone who serves something, all right? But you're not serving them this word, the, the proper understanding of this truth, all right? That's what a true minister is set up to do. Because the scriptures speak about them that minister unto the saints. That's the prophets, all right? Um, all right. Yeah, I got the scripture here. This is uh, 2 Corinthians, because the brother made an excellent point about how they look at uh, the, the prophets, the men of the Lord, as being nobodies because we're not wearing these uh, these fancy garments. These uh, right. uh, we I guess they think the prophets are supposed to speak dramatically. Oh, whoa, right. whoa, whoa, you know, and all that in the theatrical voice. The post right. to will be literally shining and, you know, no, the, the Lord ain't calling for all that. He's calling right. the, the regular Joel Schmoes, as, as it were, of this world. Right. All right. Now, Apostle Paul, right? Everyone acknowledges Apostle Paul as being a, a man of the Lord. Everyone knows the most I was dealing with them, which Yahweh Shai was directly teaching them. All right. And that's in the book of Galatians. So Apostle Paul, right? Second Corinthians chapter 10, verse 9. It says, That I may not seem, and the I is Apostle Paul, that I may not seem as if I would terrify you by letters. Apostle Paul's letters were weighty, they were heavy. That's why yeah. Apostle Peter said, Second Peter chapter 3, and verse uh 16. It says, As also in all his I'll start at 15. An account that the law suffering of our Lord is salvation, even as our beloved brother Paul, as Apostle Paul, also according to the wisdom given unto him, hath written unto you, as also in all his epistles, and epistles a letter, speaking in them of thing of these things, in which are some things hard to be understood. So Apostle Paul has some deep letters. All right. right. You go into the uh, the books that Apostle Paul, uh, Apostle Paul had written. You go into the book of Corinthians, first Corinthians 15. That's a heavy chapter. We're going to get new bodies, so on and so forth. That's me. That's heavy. Right. Right. So this is Apostle uh, Peter bigging up Apostle Paul. And as also in all his epistles, speaking in them of these things in which are some things hard to be understood. Which they that are unlearned and unstable rest, many wrestle, as they do also the other scriptures onto their own destruction. Second Corinthians chapter 10. So Apostle Paul, he's a, a, a man of the Lord. He has much wisdom that was given onto him, right? right? Second Corinthians 10 and 9. That I may not seem as if I will terrify you by letters. For his letters, say they, are weighty and powerful. That's Apostle Paul's letters. But his bodily presence is weak and his speech contemptible. So you, if you were to see Apostle Paul all the way back then, you're looking at him like, there ain't no man of the Lord. He wasn't no cocky, swollen dude. This is his bodily appearance was contemptible. Yet what? He wrote the majority of the New Testament. All right? The most I was dealing with him. As he written, the Lord have chosen the poor of this world, rich in faith. All right? So it ain't about bodily appearance. It ain't about looking all, uh, uh, looking the part. It's whether or not Yahweh Ba'al Shemel Shah is really dealing with you, which uh, the Most High Yahweh Ba'al Shemel Shah is really dealing with Apostle Paul. Uh, I have another scripture here, First Corinthians, chapter. Uh, let's see if I can find it. it might be Second Corinthians. Lock in. Let me look this up. You brothers got anything? Uh, nah, okay. Got all right. Can you grab this one here? Then we'll probably close out. Uh, uh, let's see. Okay, here it is. Here, so this is first Corinthians chapter four. And verse 18, now some are puffed up as though I will not come to you, this is Apostle Paul speaking, but I will come to you shortly if the Lord will and will know not the speech of them which are puffed up, but the power. So it ain't about having the puffed up speech, but it's about having the power, which is the Holy Spirit. Is whether or not the Holy Spirit is really dealing with this individual or not. Because there are many false teachers and false leaders that have the puffed up speech 
but the Holy Spirit really ain't working with them. That's why they can't break down the scriptures right. They don't know what the mark of the beast is. The mark of the beast is sleeping with white women. Where, where they come from? You see what uh, I mean? Because the most side not dealing with them. Uh, right? Brothers, is there anything else? That's it. Uh, Khan, hey, so with that, we pray your brother is edified. We're going to give all praises, honors, and glories onto Yahweh. 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 Double honors to our elders and our apostles of Great Millstone that doing the real well. Peace, blessings, and salutations be unto the elect, be unto the one third. Till next time we say Shalom. 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 Shalom.